we have got some very unfortunate news for the season 23 update. So, as Simo said, when there's a new season, we're going to get the new saves. But after he said that, he tweeted out, Australia, September 20th, you won't be able to open safe due to loot box restrictions, even with our pretty protection in place. For the effective, VPNs will circumvent the block until we find a way to make safes into something still interesting, yet 100% not random. If you guys are new here, I'm from Australia, and with the tweet I just read out, that restriction will affect me, among with other Australians. So that means we won't be able to check out the new safe updates unless I use a VPN, which is very annoying because I can't play Jailbreak without getting a thousand ping with the VPN on. With the saves being removed, let's talk about Season 23. The theme of the Season 23 will be about the 80s. There are a lot of entries we will be getting into today, but before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's begin the video. First up, we got the Solaire. The vehicle looks pretty nice. It does give me the 80s feeling. It has the pop-up headlights and the interior is the interior is also vintage looking, so I don't see a problem on this not being in the game. I think this vehicle ha would have a good chance to get make it into the game and let's move on to the other submissions. Next up we got the equalizer vehicle. This sort of looks familiar to the DeLorean that we already have in the game. So I don't think this should be a vehicle instead of the season. But I think it's a pretty good revamp or an alternative to the DeLorean if Asimo or BatCC wants to add the equalizer into the game. Up next we got the wave light board. I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be a neon sign or a neon spoiler, but if it is, then I'm definitely rooting for this one to get into the game. Pretty much the only current neon sign that I can think of in the game is the Japanese neon sign furniture added like 8 seasons ago, back in season 15. This room looks pretty cool, I think it deserves to get into the game. Especially in nighttime and full graphics, this thing will glow and it will look very beautiful. Up next is the Tefara vehicle. It has the pop-up headlights and a very vintage look inside of the interior. Although the exterior I'm not really a fan of, but I think it should be qualified to make it into the game. There are a few cool vehicle submissions like this car, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I think I'm gonna select some of the vehicles I think it is cool and exclude the vehicles that I don't think it's cool or all qualified to make it into season 23. What do you guys think about this? I think it's a pretty cool Rubik's Cube texture on the vehicle. Porsche 959. I don't see a reason why this shouldn't be in. It fits with the theme well, sort of. Or maybe people think there's too many sports cars, that's why they don't want it in. I honestly thought it was another RX-7 judging by the name. But this is also a pretty good car. It got the pop-up headlights and a really nice design. This texture is supposed to be a rap called reference back in season 5. There is however a refined version of it but I kind of prefer the season 5 one. Still a pretty cool texture though. I'm sure Pixel will definitely love this one. A retro futuristic supercar called the Kusabi which is based off Fer the Ferrari 308 GTS. Looks pretty cool. One of my favorite vehicles so far. I think this deserves to get into the game. No idea why, but the back of the car kind of reminds me of the aperture. Another really cool vehicle, very creative name indeed. Overall, the design is really good. I really like how the doors are like the Falcon Wing doors on the Tesla Model X. And it also kind of reminds me of the FC3S RX-7. Not the RX-7 that we have in the game, the older model that came out in the 80s as well. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because most of the clips are either not really interesting or they're just mostly vehicles. I also wanted to point out that these are all first impressions. I don't want to make it sound like I'm glazing anyone or anything, but these are actually my first impressions when I first saw those vehicles. or furniture items or submissions.
the jailbreak claw machine. This is a really good alternative for gambling, because who doesn't like gambling? Claw machines are a scam anyway, well, most of them. But I'm actually hoping this would be one of the furnitures that will actually make it into the game. Well that's a bit unfortunate, this post was taken down by the person who originally uploaded it and judging by the comments, it was not really a good submission. This American gas pump kind of looks similar to the fridge from the apocalypse season if I remembered correctly. No one in the comments have said anything about it so I might be wrong. Alright, I think I've seen enough Alright, I think I've seen enough submissions, let's move on to the conclusion. I picked so many vehicles, out of however many vehicles that I've picked, which one do I truly think is gonna make it in? Unfortunately, I don't think this Takura is gonna make it in, so I'm gonna close that tab. I don't think the Nightlight is also gonna get in, so sorry. This kind of vehicle is not really my type, so I'll just I'll eliminate that as well. It's a pretty sick vehicle, but uh, I don't think it's gonna make it into the game either, because this is a submission made like a while ago. This is also not my type of vehicle, so I'm gonna close the tab. This Tortile? Nah, I don't think that's gonna make it in. Wait, there's two... Porsche 959s, I just realized. I think this 959 is better than the other, so I'm gonna close that tab. This vehicle is good, but I think the rest of the vehicles that I chose is better than this, so I'm gonna eliminate that one as well. It's really hard to choose because so many of these are really good submissions. So the rims, I think these are the only rims that I can find, and I think they are gonna make it in. The and for the textures, the puzzle cube, the rap god reference, the refined version of the rap god texture. Like I said before, I prefer the previous one, so I think that's not gonna make it in. The disco texture, pretty cool. And finally, we have the retro flame texture. For the tires, we got re retro graffiti, retro sun tires, Simon tires. I don't know why I chose the Simon tires. And I love the 80s tires. Those are the only tires I can find. Vinyls record co covers, not really a fan of that. The vinyl tables, the DJ booth, the jailbreak claw machine, and the retro futuristic TV unit. These are pretty much the only furnitures that I can find, so might as well keep them in. Yeah, most most of the submissions that I, ca I can find is mostly vehicles for some whatever reason. I don't think I've seen as much furnitures as an other miscellaneous compared to like the vehicles. The jailbreak claw machine is definitely my favorite. And for, for the spoilers, this cassette wing, the film strip spoiler, and finally the retro console spoiler. And finally the drift effect, the grunge drift particle. I really love this one because of the effect and how good it looks. You get to customize the colors as well. And finally the jackpot drift. I prefer the grunge drift if I'm gonna be honest. And that's basically it for the video. Overall, there are so many good selections that I can make. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking forward for season 23. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.